Caution, this game can include jump scares. It may induce anxiety to those with thalassophobia. Thalassophobia? Please be mindful before proceeding. Okay, but hey, welcome to Bo. Just, just Bo. That, that's it. That's just that. that that's it. Bo. Just Bo. Uh, let me double check. Or, or let's just hit the escape button. Made for the G Develop 3D Jam. You're a fisherman. You're, you're a fisherman fishing far out. It's fisherman, fisherman fishing far out. Fisherman fishing. You've ventured far away from the island you live on, and now it's your responsibility to find your way back. Okay. So yeah. That's about it. We're gonna get into it. Whoa. Gotcha. Actually, look behind you. Oh. No sneezing. Okay. Oh god, wait. The mouse sensitivity. Can I change that at least? Or was it in the yeah? Return to menu setting. There wasn't. Okay, well. Nah. There we go. So, press Q and E to shift the boat. Oh, I see. Remember to navigate to the island and press the button to activate and deactivate the boat. So I can fall in the water and do we die or is there like creepy fishes in there? Oh, I... A big fat no. Big fat no. Alright, so we're going to the island. At least we don't have to permanently stand on the button. Just weird hands. Why are you just standing like this? I don't get it. <coughs> uh, nope. What? Wait, the boat can leave us. Oh god, no. Okay, well... Big fat ugly fish that wanted to try to eat me. Big fat no. See you. Yes, for those that don't like being in dark, creepy, unknown waters. <laughs> Not my kind of gem. No, thank you. I, I would never fish like, god damn it, like th this kind of nighttime. That's the sun has to still be out. Hell no. At least this island also is real. I was about to say. Uh, well, let's expect the fish to pop out like one or two more times though. Wait, what? Uh, okay, different. It's a grumpy looking eel, no. It's Wait, is it still behind me? There, there's two of them now? Okay, we have to look for the big, big looming shadows, rather. Mm -hmm. You'd think something that huge would be able to, uh... Ah! Okay. You just... Are you giving me two middle fingers? What? Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna fall off my boat, so I mean, it's like... Ugh. Uh, wait, what? Wait. What, a cutscene? Wait, what? Why is it lo He looks like he's giving me two middle fingers. Is that on purpose, or is that meant to be, like, his fins? That's it. It was genuinely a short game, but no, no, seriously, it just looked like it was like, just like, just like the fish was chasing you, being like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna eat you, like flashing two middle fingers, and it, even when it's sinking into the water, it's just like, blah, 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 well, sinking in its middle fingers. Was that intentional, or was that just pixelated art, and that's the cutoff point where it's fins, or, I mean, what else would it be other than fins? Was it like a tentacle monster? I have no idea, but okay, that was, boom. It was a very, very, very short indie horror game, and I'm going to have to find, I guess, a second short indie horror game to go with it. Maybe. Mm. But hey, if you enjoyed Bo, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, and the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next, or let's go to the next video. I finally got some time off work. Time to go for a nice walk. Hello everyone, welcome to Nightwalk, a very, very short indie horror game, but apparently has three different endings. Thought it could be interesting because it's pixelated. But we're gonna find out, so let's get into it. You know what? It has three endings. Oh, hair. Hang on. Why is there hair stabbing my eyes? First thing we gotta do is obviously go backwards. Let's leave.
Of course. Always just go behind you. Ending one out of three. I'm too tired. You felt too tired to go for a walk. Okay. All right. What if he's just sat on the bench? No. But okay. We got ending one already. I'm going to assume the other endings are just, you died. And you survived. We'll find out. Am I right or wrong? We'll just have to see. Hmm. Hmm. Strange shaders, but mm. Hmm. No, hello. Is that blood? What happened here? I need to get out of here. Crying baby? Can I pick up knife? Mysterious crying baby. I can't pick up the knife, so at least that's not a variable. Who left their crying, screaming baby? Or did this baby's mother die? Or is the baby the killer? Maybe it's not a baby, it's actually a midget pretending to be a baby, and he is a homicidal maniac. What? Where'd that ugly person come from? What? Death! The void awaits you? Can you explain- uh, Can you explain the story? What do you mean, death? The void awaits you because some guy- I need- I need information. We got jump scared and killed. And it said death. How did I die? Did I get stabbed? What happened? How did I die? What, what, why is that person relating to the void? Is it just some kind of weird, I don't know, Edgar Allan Poe styled, like, dreary, yes, he killed you because he looked into the void and he blinked, so he became evil, and when you get killed by him, you also get turned into the void? I, I don't know, something stupid. Um, yeah, I need more context. We got killed, uh, no resistance, um, and, uh, uh, did he come out of the, did that person come out of the forest or did he come out of the uh, out of the baby fucking carriage where did he come from was it in the shrub was it to my left or right was he hiding behind the bench was he behind the carriage or is he actually crying right now like that is, that is the guy who killed me he's he can just mimic baby crying noises perfectly that's what the game developer, I guess, needs to think about when they make more games. We need more context. Because all you have programmed is instant death by getting too close to the carriage, but I want to know how I died. Make it so he stabs me in the chest 50 times, okay? Like, then I will be pleased. Because then I know, oh, hey, I died by being stabbed like uh, Caesar. Okay, that's kind of scary. I wouldn't want to get stabbed 50 times. But that's my rant. I hope you enjoyed because I think we're at the the edge of beating the game and getting all the endings by, uh... Ending 2. Ending 2. Fuck this shit, I'm out. You left the baby to die. I hope you feel bad. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if the baby is even real because we never saw proof of that. There could even be no baby because you didn't animate a model for the baby. If there's a baby model and his head was sticking out and he was wiggling around screaming for help, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, baby does exist in this game. But the developer, you, I'm not gonna believe the baby exists. I, have, I didn't see any baby. I just saw a carriage. Could be a homicidal maniac midget that's in there again. <laughs> but either way, I don't know, that's... um. I guess that's it. It was five minutes. The developer was very honest. Um, it is a little short. <laughs> I mean, that's what I that's what I knew getting into it. But uh, it could use more work in terms of like constructive criticism. Yeah, you need to put more work into it. Like, yeah, you can make a short game, but context is definitely needed because it's like I'd view these cut to black screen and font as laziness more than creativity because it's like okay you're not willing to animate the character killing you how are they killing you what are they killing you with what does the guy look like besides his model wiggling like it's a fnaf jump scare 
You didn't animate any of that, so all I see of these fades to black is... I mean, you not being experienced, and also laziness. But that's fine. But the point remains. I hope you understand. Then if you want to make a game, a short horror game, where you get killed by a homicidal baby crying, baby crying maniac, then just, you know, animate him stabbing you. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Come on! You gotta learn somewhere. You gotta get experience. And how are you gonna get experience, Mr. Developer? By animating a person being stabbed 50 times in the chest. And then, the next time you make a game that involves possible stabbing in a horror game, you'll be like, wow, I already did it before, and now I know what I'm doing. It'll, I can do it, like, I can create it faster now. Yeah, so animate that baby, animate those knife stabbings, animate the, the killer chasing you, and uh, gain more skills. That's my, um, my message of the day to the developer, and otherwise, I hope you enjoyed my, <laughs> my rant, and I hope you enjoyed, I guess, these two videos. The first video probably being something I've held on to for like three weeks and haven't been able to put into a 2 one horror video. But now that I can, I hope you enjoyed both videos. And if you did enjoy this, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, big muffle subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.